So Naoko, who is like orchestrating this whole project, is one of our fellows. We're um, a fellowship program for emerging artists in DC, and it's a competitive process. And so, you know, I mean, they we have artists across all disciplines. Um, we have painters, we have sculptors, we have media artists, and Naoko is very unique in that she is um, more of a community-based artist. A lot of her ideas stem from experiences and groups to which she belongs to in the community. So she has been volunteering with Bread for the City um, at their City Orchard project and she's been learning a lot about urban farming and permaculture and sustainability and at the same time she was going to a lot of um, underground punk shows in DC, house shows, at dive bars, and she was getting really into the punk community as well. And so I think she just had a um, kind of a eureka moment where she wanted to synthesize all of these things in a way that invigorates DC. This show, Pamakanta Culture, is complicated, but it's just simply we grow the wheat grass by playing punk music and then make a better environment for wheat grass to get the better photosynthesize. Then we make a wheat grass into the wheat grass shop and energize DC community. wonderful because we have um, people who would normally kind of come to an art event here at Hamiltonian really interspersed with uh, a lot of people in the punk community as well. It's a, it's a really cool concept. I mean, it, it kind of takes like the typical punk show and makes it something a little bit more interesting. You know, it's like, when are you gonna play in an art gallery inside of a box covered in weed grass? You know, that's cool. It's weird, it's cool, you know? All of Naoko's projects take on this extra life out in the community, which is why I think people are so excited about it. 